What's going on guys? It's Adonis. 119 of Dragon Ball Super is out. Sorry I'm late. I was at work, but that will never happen again because your boy is no longer employed. Your boy is full time on YouTube. So let's get into this reaction. Let's go. And if you guys are fans of Dragon Ball Super, make sure you hit that subscribe button and you have notifications turned on so you don't miss any future content. Yo, that, that Father Son Kamehameha was so fly last episode though. I can't front. That was so dope. I wish that Dragon Ball Super was like gory like Dragon Ball Z was when it first came to the States. Like it was, you know, a lot of blood, stuff like that. I wish they could still do that, but I know based on the time it airs in Japan, it has to be more family friendly. Oh. You better prepare yourself. I'm in a terrible mood. My boy's ready. Ooh, guys. Not bad. You're a worthy foe. Hmm. Ultimate mode? My attacks are 300 times faster and stronger than usual. So another 300... Hold it, attack in mid-sentence. <laughs> Let's go, Vegeta! <laughs> Let's go! That's a dope attack. Oh, ho, 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 shit. That was, uh, yo, I was not expecting a final flash on him right now. Yep. Sorry, Ketapasla, you're done. See that? Ho, 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 ho. That's what the final attack looks like. Oh. Okay. I see what's going on. So is it the bugs or is there like some kind of like invisible attack thing that's going on? Like they're like in another dimension or something. Oh, shit. Hmm. Okay. So what if the attacks are strong or there's a lot of them they can't see it? But can't you just punch at the person? Damn. What you about to do, bro? Fucking Piccolo, bro. Damn. It got him. So his ears, he can hear it. What? What you trying to do, Gohan? Gohan's thinking, bro. Oh. Oh. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go! <laughs> oh! Have we seen Piccolo do a mouth beam in like how long? <laughs> Chuck E. Cheese. Man, I don't like Catella, bro. He just, he, he's. Fucking Chuck E. Cheese ass. I don't like that dude at all. 
He just don't look like a dope character to me. Hmm. Okay. So they can attack them, but they can't attack the ghosts. This is a cool technique though, right? Like, I wonder if they have the same kind of powers though. See, Piccolo and Gohan are so smart. Yo, Piccolo and Gohan. So there's another one. Hmm. Ooh. Okay. Here we gotta pay attention, bro. You got on the ropes. Oh, he got you, homie. Yo. Got him. Why is everybody that's out right now bald? <laughs> Yo. Nope. Oh. See, Android 17 is like, bro, I can hear you. He can take it too, because he has no stamina issue. That's what they just said. Why are you repeating it? Ooh. Yo. Ooh. Fucking Goku, bro. This dude is punching the Kachin Kachin, which is the strongest material. Oh. Bro, barriered his ass, bro. Damn, bro. This dude got booted. Damn, bro. Catella's gone. Deuces. That's what you get for spying on the homies. They're all black. Like me. I'll take you all with me. What was, this dude was tripping just now. You see that? So we got, what, Universe 3, 7, 11. We already know three is on its way out. Bro. Look at this shit, bro. They're ready. They're like, yo. We about to fucking form Voltron on that ass. Okay. Okay. I'll stop them here. Ooh, Super Saiyan Blue Earth. Ooh. Oh, shit. Go on. So we finally get a really focused Gohan episode. Let's go. I'm so with it. So with it. All right, let's go back. Um, I'm not going to lie. I was I was low-key bored. Let me know what y'all thought. Like, it, it was cool. But I was expecting a little bit more from this episode, to be honest, especially it being 
you know, down to the last four universes, I would have thought that this universe would have went harder than these little fucking invisible creatures and a bug. Like, more than just them being invisible or small. You know what I mean? So we have Ketopeza at the beginning fighting Vegeta. This was interesting based on just kind of like the scaling of power. It really shows how strong Vegeta is, guys. Like, he's on another level. Obviously, Ketopeza turned into his battle mode, which was... 300 times stronger than what he was previous. Then he went to an ultimate mode, right? Ultimate, which was 300 times stronger than that. And he couldn't even take on Super Saiyan Vegeta, right? Like, guys, like, Vegeta's a beast. Like, a super beast. Um, but that was interesting. Obviously, we had this, which is so dope. This beam struggle was fly because he had his final secret weapon, whatever. And then Vegeta gave him that final flash and was like, that's what a final attack looks like. Like, I was like, boy, if you don't stop. He was killing it with that. I thought that was super fly. Now, obviously we know like could tell I had a plan of utilizing these characters, these fighters because of their unique abilities, but he completely underestimated the intelligence, the intellect of Universe 7. Um, and it seems as if all the other fighters are focused on uh, skill and unique abilities. Uh, not skill, power and unique abilities versus Universe 7, even though they're extremely powerful, the fighters there, their skill level is really high and their intellect is really high. Um, speaking specifically around Gohan and Piccolo, their fighting IQ is so high. So immediately after they kind of figured out that it was an invisible opponent, um, thanks Master Roshi, um, then we had Gohan saying, oh, I know exactly what to do. Smoke screens them really quick, Piccolo sees them, knocks them out. Um, just stuff like that where he, they're really focused. They understand the martial arts so well to where their intellect is so high in a fight. So I love that it's not just, hey, we're the strongest, even though I think as far as universes go, warriors that are in this tournament, they probably have the most stacked deck as far as strong warriors, Universe 7 does. Um, now, how they all stack up to Jiren, not really sure how that how that you know factors in because he can literally one shot everybody at a time and it, it'll be it'll be wrap. So, but yeah, Catella, Chucky e. Cheese. See you later. I wasn't really feeling you as a character, um, but yeah, like essentially the whole episode was around them just fighting these obscure opponents that weren't even powerful. So I felt that was the part where to me it was just anticlimactic. It's like, okay, Universe 4, they spied on us at the beginning. They wanted us to not be in the tournament. Um, and, you know, it was just one of those things where it's like, you guys didn't even deliver. Like, your final three just had unique abilities that Universe 7 saw through immediately. And it may just be the poor writing of this particular universe to me that I'm not feeling. It's like, that's, this is top four universes and that's, that's what you, what you delivered. I don't know. I was a little, I was a little bored to be honest. Like I thought this character, I keep getting his name, but I thought this character's um, ability was awesome. I don't know. I just felt like his illusions could have been more fleshed out if it was based around the fighters themselves. They had their techniques. They had their abilities. He could be low key, like the strongest character, you know, if he had more than just like doing that, but more so like resurrecting their spirit almost to the point where they had their powers, their attacks. That would be awesome. But wasn't the case. It just seemed like they were just referencing people that they knocked off. Um, at least that's what it seemed like. Because they didn't bring, you didn't see them bring back Hit or anybody that was super powerful. It was just like the, you know, the wanksters that they had knocked off already. Like, I don't know. It was just really strange. And then Catella, like, I don't know, man. I just, I never liked this guy from Jump. He just had this, I don't know, just wasn't feeling him as a character. His universe was whack, like super whack. I thought with the confidence he was coming in with, and then, you know, you read the manga with him and Beerus and kind of what their history is, like, okay, this he's, his universe is going to be a problem. And they weren't. They were just whack. I don't know. Let me know your guys' thoughts on Universe 4. Universe 4 and their fighters, do you think that it was, you know, they were a cool universe? Do you think their last three fighters were weak? Do you think it was just too easy for Universe 7? Let me know in the comment section below what your guys' thoughts are on that. Now, I will be doing a video on the preview for 120, so if you guys are subscribed, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Have that notification bell turned on so you don't miss that video. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up button, show your boys some love, and if you want to check out my last video, the link will be right here to the side. All right, guys, till next time.
See you later.